All right, so hello everyone, I'm back again and yes, I hope you have all watched my last video of the review of the Friends palette. So today I'm here to just do a tutorial, a very simple tutorial. Um, as I'm going for an outing, so wondering, I was wondering why not just, you know, recording what I'm doing on my face as I'm painting my face anyway so let's get started so this is my outfit it's um it's a white color it's a white top with a grayish toned and um and an off whitish toned trousers so I think I'm going to go for a glittery look and I might go for eyeliner today so yeah, today it's going to be a, quite a difficult task. So let's give it a go. All right, as I mentioned before, we should always prep our skin before doing makeup. So here it is. I usually use the moisturizer, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So I'll be using this before putting on my foundation. We need to make sure that the moisturizer blends into the skin it soaks in we need to let it sit for a while while, while we prepare our other makeup i'm actually quite nervous because i'm not very good with liners so yeah i'm very nervous and yeah okay so here, I'm done with the moisturizer. So, uh, I'll be out for long hours. So, when it comes to long hours, I try to use two foundations. I try to mix foundations. So, the foundations that I'm using today are Ella Girl Pro Matte and Infallible Pro Matte, both together. So, I'm fir at first, I'm going to put a pump, a layer of Elegor Pro, Pro Matte with a dark oopsie okay so I'm going to take a pump of the Elegor Pro Matte Foundation it is in the shade um, medium beige First, I used to mix them, but now I have moved forward to, you know, putting on layers rather than mixing the foundation. Blend and blend and blend. This is the technique for a very good base. If you want a good base, just blend and blend and blend. Now I'll go on to the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And today, before the eyes, um, before moving on to my eye, uh, before the concealer, sorry, before moving on to the concealer, I'll do my eyes first because there are fall-offs as it happened yesterday, the other day, and I won't risk it today. So I'll be doing my base first, then I'll do my eye. And I'm planning to do a, a subtle glittery look, a very light toned glittery look, but with a bold lip color. So I might go with red. My eye, eyes, eyes are going to be glittery and my lip color is going to be a bright red. Let's see how it goes. That's my plan so far. So I'm carrying on the foundation onto my eyelids. It helps to it helps the eyeshadow to sit on the lids. It makes it pigmented. So here is my beige. Uh, okay, this shade, the Infallible Pro Matte, is in the shade one hundred six. 
So my base is almost done. Only I'm left with the concealer, which I'll do at the end after I'm done with my eyes. So since I'm going with my liner today, okay. Um, so the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using today will be, I think I'll go with Revolution. It's the Revolution Reloaded palette. So yeah, it has some golden shades. I think I, I'll be able to use this one or maybe this one. Yeah. So today I won't go with a brown ba base because I'm straight away going to glittery glittery. I have another palette. Um, I think it is from the brand MS Beauty. It has around six shades. This is quite glittery, I must say. I might as well end up using this one. So yes, maybe I will begin with um, the Revolution palette first, and then I'll go on to, I'll move on to the other MS palette. So moving on. Okay, the first color that I'm going to take is probably going to be um, this one. This is the shade I'm picking up. Okay, I think as a as a beige beige color, we can use this one. We can use this one. Let's give it a try. Unfortunately, these palettes don't have mirrors, so I'll use mine. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a different plan today. So today I wanted to do this technique where I would not smudge my liner so i'll put on tapes around my eyes so that it doesn't smudge my eye look now let's give it a go all right so i'll put it right here Maybe we'll have to do some touch-ups after we're done with our eyes. And here goes the other one. All right, moving on to the eyeshadow. Okay. So I use the fluffy brush to do the base because it spreads out evenly and it's quite fluffy so yeah perfect to do the base. Alright now I'll straight away move on to the glitter, I, obviously I'm changing the brush here. Um, There you go. I'm going to go for this brush today and moving on to the glitter. My aim today is to be all glittery. Glitter, glitter, glitter all over.
I hope you can all see how it looks. I so wish all our shadows had mirrors with them. It would be so easy to put the makeup on. Unfortunately, they don't. Moving on to my other eye. Sometimes the golden shade doesn't fill enough. It's like you can't have enough. I don't know though how it's looking on camera. It's quite light. But I still want it to have a more, you know, glittery effect. I think now I'll switch to the other palette. Moving on. So this is the shade I'm going to use. Let's see how it goes. Now that's a lot of glitter. Wow, that's having a lot of fall off. Yeah, this looks quite glittery. Moving on to my other eye. Alright, so due to the glitter, um, I think it, the beige smudged a little, so I'm going to go over the shade that I used one more time just to give it a final touch. Oh my god, that was a lot of fall off. Alright, and just the last touch up from the glittery shade. And again, all right, I think we're good to go. Um, okay, now we'll be moving on to our liner, the scary part. All right, so I'll be using this liner. Technique liquid liner. This scares me. So yes, I want to do a wing. Hence I used the scotch tape technique. Now let's see how it goes. Okay, this looks good, but that wasn't a very perfect wing though. Anyway, I'll move on to my second eye because when I try too much, I end up messing things up more. Let's see. 
When you put on the squat stick, it's important that you keep the positioning right, otherwise it will literally spoil your game. I don't know though if it looks asymmetric, I think it does, maybe the left one is a little thick. You can fix it. I let it sit for a while. I'm kind of nervous because I don't know is it is it just me or is my left liner a little too thick? No, I think it's perfect. I let it dry. I let it sit for a while and then take off the scotch tape. Okay, now I'll go for my I'll have to go for my lips until this dries. Um, or should I just take it off? Maybe I should just take it off. Oh, that's a very nice ring. Good lord. Fair enough. But I think we'll need more touch up of foundations right now. Anyway, here's my beauty blender again. Let's clear things up. First of all, we need to get rid of all the fallouts. We need to get rid of all the fallouts. We need to make sure that the fallouts are gone. All right. So we'll put, put on some concealer. It's time for some concealer. There it is, my LA Girl Concealer. I think I've put too much here. All right, let's give it a blend. Let's see how it looks. All right, this looks just right. It just needs a little bit of more blending. And a little amount here. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, now I think I'll go, I, I'll go with the lighter shade. It's time for some highlights. So, I forgot my mascara again. For me, it feels like an eye look without a mascara is incomplete. That's just right, perfect. I love this mascara because it gives you a falsy effect, which is really cool. 
not a very big fan of falsies, so I just get my job done with the mascara itself. Now, um, I'll be heading on to the blush first. To the blush, the pink. Where is my blush? Okay, there it is. We are going to go for a pink blush, a peach pink. I'm not going to make my blush very intense since I'm going to do wear a red lipstick, a bold lip. So I, I won't go for too much pinky cheeky. I'm not going to go for a very pink cheek. So yeah. Now, okay, moving on. Now we'll be moving on to the highlights. Where did the palette go? All right, okay. First and foremost, I need to highlight this area, the one that I have covered here. Using the same brush, the other end. Okay, and then coming to the face, highlighting the cheekbones. I love highlights. I love highlights. I just can't tap enough. I just hope it's giving a subtle glow. All right. So done with the highlights, now moving on to the lip color. Okay, a bold red. Let's see how it looks. A glittery eye with a bold red. Red goes very well with uh, with eyeliner, with a good winged eyeliner. Oops, smudged a little. Ooh. That looks quite bold. I thought it would look very red toned, but yeah, it looks quite good with the eye look. It went well with the wing. All right, so this was my final look and yeah, I hope you all liked it. Thank you for watching.